Hi, so we're live. I had a little bit of uh, trouble setting up the camera, um, but I'm here. So um, let's see if anybody is joining us. And um, so uh, once some people are joining us, um, I will show you uh, my new um, studio. I will show you around. And now I see my hair is fluffy, by the way. <laughs> oh, well. Um, so let's just wait until some uh, people check in and um, then I will uh, show you around in my new studio, um, which isn't quite done yet. Um, I'll show you later. And we'll talk a little bit about um, my week this week in seeing. Uh, what I am teaching is mostly selfies. I'll show you a few selfies. I'll show you uh, the selfie that I did this morning. Um, and you can judge if um, it looks like me or not. Um, so yeah, let's just wait a little bit. Let me just set up some stuff here. Um, there, I notified the team that I'm live. So there's six people watching, and um, so hi, welcome. Good, you, good that you're watching. I have to warn you today. I am having issues with focusing and um, talking. Just now, like half an hour ago, I was talking with Danny, and I was trying to find the simplest words, and I couldn't. So I hope right now, in the following uh, Facebook Live, I am uh, doing. A little bit better. Uh, so, hopefully, uh, everybody can find their way through um, the um, Facebook Live. Uh, I can see that some people are having trouble, so you might need to um, refresh, maybe. Uh, but yeah, that doesn't really make sense to tell you if you are not actually able to watch this. So anyway. Um, I can talk more and wait for more people to join, but I am actually really excited to show you my studio and to start, just to start, because I have a lot to talk about. So let me first pick up my camera and show you where I'm at. So if you look behind me, there's 50 crates, and those come from the farmer because I am planning to make a um, cupboard out of them so I can stash my stuff there. Um, I'll show you why. Because over there, you can see a lot of stuff that needs to be stored back here as well. So uh, that's what those crates are for. <laughs> um, but I haven't had the time, I haven't taken the time to actually DIY. Uh, this is where I always um, do my uh, Trail Tip Tuesdays. So as you can see, my camera is there and I have some nice lighting from uh, both sides and there's a little sneak peek of the Trail Tip Tuesday I did. And whenever I um, do uh, a video for sketchbook school. Uh, this is the backdrop that I use. I have more colors since today actually. So pink and yellow and green and blue and all colors. That's my studio. So welcome to this studio. I've been here for a couple of months and um, I am settling in but still not quite ready yet. <laughs> um, Okay, so uh, now that um, some people have checked in, hello, welcome. I'm glad you are here and that you are watching this Facebook Live. Um, I just wanted to start with um, just saying how much I um, am liking everybody's work in sketchbook school, in seeing, uh, because uh, right now, that course is happening. Last week we uh, drew all kinds of toast and other stuff um, with Danny. And this week um, my lesson is up and it's all about drawing self-portraits, drawing selfies. And 
it goes a little beyond drawing just self-portraits because it's really about how how you how you see how you see yourself as an artist. So um, it is really really great to go to the class gallery, to the homework gallery, and look at all the portraits that are made. They are so there are so many varieties in styles and in techniques and um, uh, colors and well, it's it's just really really amazing and I'm really happy and also proud to be a teacher of all these wonderful creative students. And what I also really like is that um, a lot of students tell me or share in class that they, they feel like they have to go way out of their comfort zone to draw themselves. Um, and some actually said that it's a bit like therapy uh, because it's confronting and also it's um, kind of uh, liberating maybe because you may, once you have started, you may actually uh, discover things about your face that you've never seen before. Um, it may not be as bad as you think once you, you draw and you see the result, especially if you do like a blind contour drawing. It's, it's simple, it's fun, it's quick and it's surprising what you can do in just a minute even. So that's that's really great and I, I agree it can be kind of scary because you draw yourself and you don't know what's what the outcome will be. Um, but then again even if you hate your drawing it will reflect some part of you or at least it will reflect the mood of the day and if you do a selfie every day um, at the end of the week you will have like a little document, a little diary of what you felt like all these days. And you might actually already have forgotten by the end of the week. So it's a, it's a really great, great way of art journaling, you could say. So, um, yeah, uh, what I wanted to do actually is uh, show you my self-portrait that I made this morning. There it is. And uh, I hope you like it. So if, if you do, give me a few thumbs up. See if that works, because I can't really, don't really see it in the, uh, in the image. Let me see what's going on if everybody's... Yeah. Hang on. Sorry about that. Oh, here it is. No, it's not. I'm sorry, I'm trying to understand what's, how to see any of your comments, but I can't. That's strange. Anyway, um, I'll, I'll look at my other screen to, uh, to see if uh, any questions are coming in. Uh, so if you don't see me, then, uh, or if you see me looking the other way, that's because I'm looking at my other screen because I don't get this Facebook Live thing today. Anyhow, so, um, what did I want to uh, um, talk about as well? Yeah, so this is how I saw myself this morning. It's very serious and I'm so concentrated, you know. Um, and, and the discussion that's going on in the classroom um, is all, also about how we see ourselves. If we are allowed to... Um, to call ourselves an artist. Do you, do you allow yourself to be an artist, you know? And I don't mean an artist with a capital A, because Van Gogh and Rembrandt and, um, well, you can name a few of those really big artists. Of course, we don't want to measure ourselves with that, but um, we are allowed to call ourselves ar artists because you make art, you love making art, even if it's just scribbles in a sketchbook. Um, it's not any less, you know, than anyone else. So that's a really, really interesting uh, thread that's going on in in the in the classroom, and I'm very interested to read what everybody's uh, saying about that. So um, 
I am going to try just one thing because I hate it that I can't see your uh, reactions. Have one moment, please. Bear with me. Um, no, that doesn't work. Does that work? It doesn't. I'll just put that back because maybe I'm sideways now. Okay. Um, see, this is what I mean. I, I already said this in the beginning. <laughs> this is not my day today. So I'm very sorry if I am not reacting or responding to any of your comments because I just can't see them. It's horrible. I only can see that people are watching, but I cannot see your responses. And I hate it because that's the fun about Facebook Live, right? Anyway, um, so about that discussion to uh, give yourself permission. Um, that is just really interesting. And I think a lot of people um, think about that. You know, if you are drawing somewhere and you are, um, maybe someone's interested and they come up to you and they, they ask you, hey, that's great. Are you an artist? What do you say? That is really the discussion we are having. What do you say then? Do you just say, sure, yeah, I'm an artist. You want to see my sketchbook? Not many of us do, you know, uh, because you feel like, uh, yeah, I guess I'm an artist, but if I say I'm an artist, the, people, the person who's asking me is going to expect me to have a ex ex exhibitions and, and I need to make my money with it and all, all that kind of stuff. Um, so often we will say, oh, yeah, well, I'm a doodler or um, I'm, I'm a designer. Yeah, I sort of sketchbook every now and then. I mean, I do it too. We all do that. You know, you, you, you don't really know what the question implies. That may, might be it. So it's very interesting that we're not alone. Everybody feels this when they are asked about what they do. Um, and then, yeah, you should give yourself permission to call yourself an artist because you make art. And speaking of permission, um, this is just what's happening in my week. But uh, next week in Seeing, Brenda Swenson is going to uh, talk about permission as well. But that is the kind of permission to give yourself the Time, take time to make art because when do you do that in a busy life you have a busy work and family and all kinds of chores you need to do and where does art come in a lot of people don't make make time for it or feel like oh i didn't draw today because i just didn't get to it well maybe we need to make it a priority so that's what what brenda is uh, all about and she will also take us into her lovely, lovely garden to do um, a piece of uh, watercolor using pen as well. She shows us some really nice techniques. So I am already looking forward to do my homework for her week. Uh, and then after that, we'll have Kathy Johnson. She will, um, ooh, that's so wonderful. We'll visit her in um, her, her cabin, her studio that is actually in the woods. It's wonderful. She'll show us all about drawing nature. And who else is in class? Um, after that, oh yes, after that we, uh, we just put away our watercolors and we get back to just simple pens. And uh, Andrea Joseph will show us what you can do with that. And you can make amazing things with just one color, one simple ballpoint pen. Um, so I'm, I'm looking forward to, uh, to see those uh, class those uh, homework galleries and after Andrea will have um, Liz she takes us into Sydney and does an urban sketching uh, an urban sketch uh, and that oh, I oh that is just so lovely and she also draws teacups as, as well and she uh, she will actually talk about patterns on teacups and how you can see patterns in buildings as well so you can get a lot, you can learn a lot from her class as well. So that's already in the sixth week. 
That feels such a long time away from now. So um, if you are in, um, in the CGN course, I really hope you will keep posting your, um, uh, your sketches and your, uh, your selfies. And I am going to see if I can, can give it another go on seeing your, uh, your comments. Hang on. One moment, please. There we are. I can see comments. Yes, that is great. Ready. Um, so anyway, um, seeing. If Do you have any questions for me right now? If you are in the seeing class, um, just send me any questions. Um, and if you don't, then I would like to talk about something else that I'm very, very, very excited about too. And I actually, because I, I have a, a sketchbook here, and because I was looking back to some of the selfies that I did because of this uh, Facebook Live, here's one that I did uh, to um, do a lot of hatching actually. Um, and then I found in this same sketchbook, which Part of it was also done in Floyd during a festival. Here's a sticker I, <laughs> I picked up that I really like. But before I went to Floyd, I was actually in the start of this sketchbook, I was traveling to Stockholm. And um, I was traveling to Stockholm because I went to shoot the class for uh, Nina. So Nina's class in a very, very brand new sketchbook school course called Exploring. And um, many of the sketchbook school students have asked us about Nina, if she could become one of the sketchbook school teachers. And we were like, yeah, we want that too. So we were delighted that, um, uh, that Nina actually said yes. And she came up with a fantastic class. And um, so I went to Stockholm uh, to shoot her videos. And when we, uh, when we are away, Danny and I, for a sketchbook uh, school shoot, we never really get to see a lot during that traveling time, you know, you're just filming all day and you're busy with the, with the whole production. So, but I always, always bring my sketchbook. So what I do then is just draw while I travel because you're sitting there anyway. And um, then also I made a teeny tiny little drawing of the view out of the window. And I was lucky because after the shoot, Nina and I went for dinner and we did a little bit of urban sketching. Can you imagine how intimidated I felt sitting next to a rock star? And I was really trying to channel my inner urban sketcher there. <laughs> and then back, back again, then, then you'll have time to draw. So Nina is, um, uh, is going to teach in the course called Exploring, which is starting on um, April 17. So it's just a month away from now, and then we can get to this very new course. And uh, Danny will kick off this course um, by doing some demos about hatching, and he will really um, delve into how to see lights and darks and shedding, shadows and shading. Um, so that will be a really great, great way to kick off and start. And then um, when uh, Danny has kicked off, then Nina's class is up. And of course, she'll do an urban sketch. And she will also share a lot about her, uh, who, who influenced her and um, why she draws and all that kind of stuff. It's going to be very inspiring. And then um, after Nina, 
we will go to Los Angeles, actually. So you'll, you'll be in Los Angeles hanging out with one of the coolest people in faculty, Brian Butler. He's so different from everyone else in, in sketchbook school, and his class is very different, too. Because what he does for his demo is do a, a, an enormous mural in Los Angeles, it's, it's really amazing, it's spectacular. But he also talks about how you can take your sketchbook pages into new projects, other projects like zines, for example, or printed, uh, print, printed posters, that kind of stuff. So you take a lot away from, from that, from a cool guy who does a lot of street art. And after Brian Butler, um, we'll actually go to the UK uh, I went to Sheffield um, last summer to shoot Lynn Chapman's vid um, uh, class. And Lynn Chapman is also one of the people that you have asked for. Sketchbook school students love her work and uh, they love her and so do we. So um, I am really excited to have her in faculty. She's such a bubbly person. It was great to hang out with her. And uh, you will hang out with her in her lovely studio and also in the streets of Sheffield in uh, exploring in her class. And of course, she'll do an urban sketch. And she'll share a whole stack of fantastic sketchbooks that are accordion books. Um, and she'll share ideas about how you can do storytelling in your sketchbooks, how you can depict time, how you can draw someone's portrait in a whole different way. Very, very different ideas of how to use your sketchbook and how to tell your stories in your sketchbook. So that's, uh, that's in the fourth week. And then as a closer, we have Felix Scheinberger. We know him already because he was in Expressing and um, everybody loved him, and his watercolor art is just so fantastic. And again, we listened to the Sketchbook School students who have asked for more, more, more Felix Scheinberger. So there you have it. We have Felix Scheinberger back in class. We go back to Berlin, and this time he uh, teaches about layout and composition and all that kind of stuff that, that, that you can use to create great sketchbook pages and that you can use to make better stories of your sketchbook pages and how you can uh, use different elements in the background, foreground, that kind of stuff. I won't tell you everything because he's much better at it <laughs> than I am. So it's a very, very versatile um, uh, new course. And I am so looking forward to it. So if you want to sign up, which I hope you do, then you just go to sketchbookschool.com and go to click Exploring. And there you can sign up and you are sure you won't miss out on the good stuff. So let me now go back to um, see if there's any questions there. Uh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Here we are. Any questions? Ooh, Helen is very excited to be doing exploring. Yeah, I don't have a class in it this time, but in the next course I will. So um, don't be sad. I will make my appearance and I will be doing my homework with you. Uh, so I'll do study hall videos and that kind of thing, stuff. So I'll be there. I'll be with you. But thank you, Helen. That's so sweet. Um, oh, and then Judy says I'm a rock star. That's also very, very sweet. Thank you. Um, I cannot see any questions right now. Joanna, of course, sees that Floyd sticker. You have that too. Ha! <laughs> it's not many people who have that sticker. Um, no, I don't think there's any questions right now. Um, and yes, there is another, uh, another course in the pipeline, Judy. We are working on new courses. 
um, we have been really studying what direction we want Sketchbook School to go uh, to, and we have researched a lot of things. Um, but we realized that, you know, the community courses make you the, the happiest and actually us too. So um, we are uh, we are working on uh, on more material and there's more to come. So that's good news. Let me just check with the team if there's any other questions. I don't think so. About the oh, there was a question about the best way to get started doing self portraits. Okay, well um, that's a good question. I think maybe you should sign up for seeing. <laughs> That's a good one, because um, that would mean that you have just one week to catch up with. That's Danny's week, and it's a great, great week um, that actually helps you also uh, develop to the right way of seeing things. And then in the second week, which is now, so hop right in, go to sketchbookschool.com and sign up for seeing. Um, then in, this, in that week, my week, I will show you how you can start with uh, self-portraits. I will give you a tip here. Do a blind contour drawing. It doesn't mean you close your eyes. It's just that you look in the mirror and you only look in the mirror and you don't look on, onto your paper. You don't um, uh, lift your pen off the paper. You just, with your eyes, you just follow all the features. You just sort of do a track of your features with your eyes. So you, so you look at your left eye and then travel with your, with your eye to the right eye, then to your nose and to your mouth. And then you follow with your pen, you follow your eyes. And in one or two minutes, you will have a bit of a Picasso-like self-portrait. And that's where you start. So I hope that answers your questions. Your question just a little bit. Um, Anushri is already part of seeing. That's good. I hope uh, you are having fun. And what are my favorite art tools right now? Um, I think, let me just grab my, mm, my pencil case. Uh, ha, of course. It's not in here. I didn't bring it because I left it on the kitchen table this morning when I did a drawing. Um, so, well, second best then. It's this pen, it's a fountain pen um, uh, from um, Lamy, Lamy's Safari, no, not, not Safari, a Lamy fountain pen, and it has a medium nib. Let's put it here, yeah. It has a medium nib and that means that it's not thick and it's not thin. I don't really like those very, very thin uh, pens because it feels scratchy. I like a little bit bolder. So that's, I think that's my favorite tool. And I have a very nice soft brush that I uh, use now for watercolors. I really like that too. Instead of the, uh, uh, the, brush, the brush pen that you can put water in and then you use it just like that, which is really handy on location, but when I'm at home, I really like to use that soft brush that picks up a lot of paint. It makes a difference. Um, and yes, I will take request for, re requests for Draw Tip Tuesdays. Uh, actually, yesterday I shot a few Draw, Draw Tip Tuesdays and I was having a hard time thinking of new stuff. Um, although, then again, I thought up of a new stuff and I got new ideas so but always I mean I I don't know if I can do it all because I got a request about oil pastels yesterday and I really don't know how to work with those so maybe there's a challenge for me but uh, please do send me requests for Draw Tip Tuesdays because I can use all ideas and I really like to know um, what you want to learn um, Let's see if I have other questions. Uh, last question is, what is your favorite brush pen? Do you mean a water brush pen? I think you do. I don't really have a favorite, but right now I'm using the 
who the pentel is it pentel? No, it's a kuratake. Kuretake. Kuretake? I don't know how to how to pronounce. But uh, I like it because it doesn't leak. Um, if you if you some of those brushes, uh, if you press them, the water comes out here instead of here, and this one doesn't do that. So that's why I like it. All right, I am. Um, this is, has been exactly thirty minutes, so I think I'm going to um, yeah end this. Facebook Live. Um, uh, I'm sorry about my unfocused style today and about my tech problems, but I think I did right. And I think, I hope you enjoyed it. I really enjoyed hanging out with you and uh, thank you for your questions and thank you for watching. I really, really hope to see you in class, whether it's in seeing or in exploring. Um, Go to sketchbookschool.com, join us, because really, you know, drawing within this online community of awesome people is just really, really great. And it's a lot of fun. So I'll see you in class. Bye.